Inside of a minute left, Mesa in the paint, tried to lob it in for Burbage as he was worried about getting called for steps, and it's Milliken the other way to lay it in for Taylorsville. Deseret News Rewind is presented by Heidemann and Associates, a full-service law firm dedicated to winning for you. Call them now for a free consultation. Welcome to the Moments of the Week presented by the Utah Army National Guard. And hey, in case you have been following our state coverage, there's a story that we're going to start talking about a little bit more. How about the Taylorsville Warriors? This is a team that last couple of years, uh, Coach Graziano has been trying to build and get some of that youth to come up and help build this program into something in Region 2. And this year, the Taylorsville Warriors off to a 2-0 start with wins over Kearns. And then this week had a win over Cypress. Had a chance to talk with Coach Graziano. Here with Coach Graziano. And Coach, statement wins for you guys to start region play. You get a win over Kearns. You come in tonight at Cypress, get a nice 10-point win. Talk about this team for Taylorsville and where you feel like you guys are at and how you feel like you're playing right now. Well, I, I feel like our kids are just outworking the teams we're playing and you know there's times when things might not go right but the kids just keep battling you know if we don't get a call and they're unselfish and they believe in each other and you know we have goals as a team and I think that motivates our kids to to keep battling the whole way through despite what happens in the game so it feels like this team is playing with a lot of confidence right now you beat Kern, you beat Cyprus but the way that you execute out on the floor you mentioned very unselfish but defensively you guys tonight against Cyprus really impressive limiting their effectiveness in that outside shot for half the game well it felt like they hit a lot of a lot of threes but I, there were times when we were able to take away the three and then rebound and you know not giving second chance points but yeah for us uh, the first thing we preach is is how we play defense and if you can stop people then you got a chance I think Talk about the offense of this team because it feels like it's been a while since Taylorsville has had this many weapons, right? You think about Milliken or uh, you think about, you know, some of the other contributors. Gavin had a nice night tonight. Never, or Nebuchadnezzar hit big free throws late. Yang as well. Talk about the offense of this team. You mentioned very unselfish group. Yeah, I think that they trust each other. In order to, to be unselfish, to be successful, you have to trust each other. They're good friends. They, they love each other. They play hard for each other. And that's, that's a great motivator when you don't want to let each other down, you know, let your teammate down. But Cameron Milliken is a, a terrific player. And, uh, and I say this, you know, I've, I've coached against T-Ville for over 20 years. And I know the players that have gone through. And he's one of the best players ever played at Taylorsville High School. The thing about Cameron, though, is he's a humble He's an unselfish kid. He's also a leader. He steps up at big time. And we have other kids that answer, too. And so we, tell, we say sometimes, you know, Cameron's going to get a good shot or he's going to get someone a good shot because they're going to double team and so forth. But Cole was big tonight. He made foul shots, his, his energy. I mean, some people don't realize, but Cole Nebaker sometimes is our leading rebounder. Wow. So, I mean, he gets after it. But there's, there's different nights for kids who step up. Awesome. Coach, congratulations on a big win tonight. Thanks. You hear him talk about his familiarity with Taylorsville, both as a coach but also as an opposing coach. And when he shares the compliment for Cameron Milliken of being one of the best players in school history, you watch this young man play, and he just has that ability to take over ball games. And the senior has been really key in the start for the Warriors. Here with Cameron Milliken and Cam. Boy, big night tonight. Talked with Coach Graziano. Felt like a statement win Friday against a really good Kearns team. Now you come into Cyprus, you limit them, you come out with a big win. Talk about what this start, 2-0 in region, means for Taylorsville in this particular unit. It means a lot. We're, we're bought in and we believe in each other and we're fighting every night and we're just super confident and we want that region title. You know, I had a coach tell me uh, before the season started, watch out for Taylorsville in region two. They're going to be the team to beat. Have you felt that target on your back? What has it been like to go in and know that you're going to get team's best efforts each night? Uh, we're ready to fight every night. And no matter who we play against, we believe that we can compete with anyone. So. You know, we did the game against Brighton, and it was Nebuchadnezzar who hit a big shot late. Tonight you hit big shots, particularly in that second half. Really did a nice job of suppressing some of those Cypress runs. Feels like this is a team where a lot of different guys can contribute as the leading scorer for that team. Is that, is that true? Like, do you feel that? Coach Graziano said you're either going to get a good shot or you're going to find good shots for your teammates. Yeah, I trust all my teammates. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you mentioned region title. Is that the goal for this unit? Or, or what, what keeps you guys so focused? Yeah, that's our main goal. You know, the last few years we haven't been very successful. And as seniors especially, we just want to end on a high note. 
Talk about some of the other guys around you, Nebuchadnezzar, Yang, uh, as well as, uh, uh, I can't remember their names, Gavins. Gavins. Oh, I'm going to eat that one. The Gavins, talk about what it's like, this particular unit, and being a, a member of it. Uh, it's awesome. Like I said, I trust them, they trust me, and everyone different steps up every night, and we can get it done. All right, Cam Milliken, maybe the, the best name you haven't heard of yet. We're going to bring you a lot more of number 23 for Taylorsville. Cameron, thank you. Thanks. He is so fun to watch. Had a chance to see Cameron a couple times now this year. and Had a lot of people talk to me before the season started. Watch out for Taylorsville in Region 2. And I was like, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I've seen it. Get out to Taylorsville, watch these young men play. We talk about Milliken, he's a senior, but it's the culture, the atmosphere of this team that makes this Taylorsville team a little bit different. You can see kind of the buy-in from the rest of the roster. Kids starting to believe that this can be a special year for Taylorsville, and indeed it is looking to be that way just one week into region play. Going to be fun to watch Taylorsville through Region 2. Can they get their first region championship in boys basketball in, well, a really long time? We will keep our eye on it. We'll let you know. But get out to Taylorsville and go check out Cameron Milliken and the rest of this young group as they are off to an impressive 2-0 start in Region 2.